Hi friends, today I am going to tell you about graphology. As I promised you that graphology is a science by which you will understand a person's future, a person's thought process through the words, through the lines, through the dots, through the spaces that he is leaving and through his handwriting and signature also. So isn't it interesting to know everything about a person through their literal word formation, their loop formation, the dots, the words, the structural information that their subconscious is actually believing in at that moment. And the most important part is that you can change them also. That is your subconscious thoughts, that is your subconscious thinking that you were doing at that present moment, at that moment in time or that space in time. about a person is very important when you're going into a relationship by seeing their handwriting you can predict and you can see how this person is going to behave what are their thought processes what they are going to uh, expect out of you what are they doing for themselves what are their aspirations what are their goals for a boss also to know about a person's leadership qualities a person's cooperative instincts, a person's sacrifices for their careers or the ability to do out of the box thinking that can be easily predicted by a graphologist. So I would suggest you not to just think of graphology in the criminal aspect of things where legal and illegal personalities may go into graphology. But to use it generally, to use it for your kids. You can even suggest them how to use the word formation, how to use their signature, how to actually make their signature so that they actually can gain out of this science. It is a science, but based on the subconscious thoughts processes. This is very, very important. And you are going to really enjoy it once you fall into that loop of knowing that what the margins are for, what the, the dot formation and at what point the dot formation is going to impact and affect. The, the signature importance, the word formation in the signature, the first capital word of your signature, what does it imply? It implies strength. It implies leadership qualities. It, it implies that you are not going to say no to anything new. That you are going to continue with your life processes. There are so many things that you can know about yourself and about anybody as also through this science, through this art and science. It's a combination actually. We, uh, we have to just see that what kind of uh, field or theme you are understanding through graphology. There are two kinds and I am going to tell you in the coming lectures also. So in this first lecture, I would just say welcome to graphology because this is a science where you are going to know about your dot formations, about your word formations, about your uh, capital or small writings, about the strength with which you are writing or the, the, the hurry with which you are writing tells you about yourself so you can change change that and you can uh, actually bring change in your life that is what i want everybody to do through this science now let's see i'm going to tell you very simple things in this uh, uh, in this video please share this video as much as you can please subscribe to your to my channel if you have not already done that now the first thing I've already told you about the capital letter at the start of your signature. 
Suppose I am Aarti Bhatia, so uh, the first letter should be A in a capital letter. The first word is Aarti and the second part of my signature is Bhatia. So uh, B of the Bhatia has to be again a firm letter and a capital letter. They have to be not very far off, close by, so that they can uh, actually uh, depend on each other. So the family part is supporting me. That can also be written as Aarti in the cap first letter, in the first line and Bhatia just under it. So by writing the Bhatia part and the uh, second part just under it shows that that part of uh, my signature is going to help it. And then there are a few other things also that will uh, come up like the dot in Aarti, I's and uh, um, T's is a different thing. I. So you have to, with that I, you have to keep that dot slightly above the eye, not very close to it. The closer means that we are keeping all our emotions very close to ourselves and not expressing to the world and not very confident about things. So by keeping it a little above eye, to a, uh, not that far off, but little above will show that I have, uh, that a person has more goals, a person is more uh, balanced and a person has a, a just to move ahead in their life. Now the third part is that while writing your name, Aarti Bhatia, or uh, your name, I don't have to put a dot after my name. So dot signifies stoppage of the progress. It signifies that I have stopped being progressive. I have just curtailed my sources and my uh, goal and my aspirations. So I would never like to do that. And you should not any time put a dot after your name. So that means a uh, full stop uh, in that sense. So we, I have taught you three things. Number one, the first letter of the um, of the first alphabet or the letter of your name should be in capital letters either it is your name or your surname you can write the sermon under your name so that you have all the support from the family background and people and girls especially who are finding that your the, your families are not supporting you actually you need to do that the third is don't put i very close to i the dot in the i's very close or j's very close to them you have to put it a little above so that they have a little space in them and there is a, a natural progressive of your uh, future and your goals. The fourth point is don't ever put a stop, full stop in front of your uh, name that is Aarti Bhatia or and whatever your signature is to put it. Uh, like that will be curbing uh, your progresses and the fifth part and the most important part is you should not ever have two lines just under your date of birth your signature sorry uh, under your signature you shouldn't have two lines just one line and that line should be from it should be in the ascendant uh, way only from 45 degrees uh, from your start to the uh, end and it should not be reversed it should be in that form only Aarti Bhatia it should be from Aarti A to uh, A uh, from Aarti's A to Bhatia's A but never have from Bhatia's A to uh, reverse it should not be in the reverse direction so these are the few things that I want you to be very uh, aggressively working on for while you're doing your signatures and while you're uh, acting on your uh, signature part of things so that your subconscious will learn that you are going to be in a progressive state of mind and then things will uh, work out for you in that sense please 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 get uh, ready for more of these videos and uh, get attached to my channel my dear friends because i'm going to teach you handwriting and want to make you an handwriting expert as well as a signature expert and through graphology you can enter into a lot many career options which i will always discuss in the front of my uh, in the front portion of my video so that you know that there are a lot of things that you can get uh, through this art and science i am uh, just saying this is an amalgam because writing is itself an art but this the graphology part of thing is very scientific so never ever think that i am using the word art here and don't get uh, 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 aggressive about it because it is a fact to fact science but yes 
the writing part is calligraphy part of it is an art so friends please be attached to me and please share and subscribe to the channel thank you so much friends thank you